64 degrees. Getting underway here shortly. If you do have any questions, I think what you can do to help Made you. Feel free to ask. Go to Florida, baby. Do a comedy. Yes, urban adventures. Meanwhile, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Welcome aboard. Leaving Salt Lake, heading to Dallas, then to Florida. The aircraft door has been closed. Flight attendants arm doors. Cross check. Stand by for call. to Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Next stop, Tampa, Florida. I'm here at the Dallas airport, gonna find me something to eat. Maybe have a have a little drink to ease my nerves, because I'm kind of nervous about Florida. I got like an hour and a half, so this looks like a tiny airport. I don't even. Is this bar closed? Oh, the bar's closed. 75% capacity. Nobody's in there though. Alright, we gotta go find something to eat and drink. Still at Dallas Fort Worth Airport. I missed my flight to Florida. Uh, my phone, the time hadn't changed yet. So I thought I had like an hour to get to my uh, my gate to depart. But so I got in line to get food. And while I was standing after I rode the tram, I got in line to get food, and while I was sitting waiting for the food uh, to order food. I guess the time changed on my phone to the right time and I looked at it and I thought it was 520 my flight boarded at 6 but it was actually 620 and my flight was already done boarding so I missed my flight now I'm in Dallas Fort Worth overnight which is not Dallas so I can't go walk around the city there's like nothing out here and uh, I don't know Mama Duke said she would get me a hotel room until the morning, but I don't want to waste money on that. I've I've had rougher nights, trust me. So staying at an airport for the night, easy. We got Wi-Fi, we got chargers, I got my phone, I got my laptop, so everything's gonna be fine. And I leave tomorrow morning. Now I just gotta find somewhere to hang out and something to do <laughs> or somewhere to sleep I guess until the morning but yay we got a mini adventure within the big adventure <laughs> getting stuck at Dallas Fort Worth Airport it's nice down here warmer you know sun setting it's starting to get 
slightly chilly, but really not chilly at all. But oh no, we'll be getting out here, out of here uh, tomorrow morning. So let's see what we need to get into tonight. I met a random stranger who also missed his flight and had to get a hotel for the night. So me and him went half and half on a two bedroom at the Hyatt Regency. It's a $170 room. So we split it after taxes, basically like a hundred bucks each. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna fly into Tampa. My uncle is also flying into Tampa, so I'm gonna wait for him and then I'm gonna get a ride with him to the parents' house. For now, I'm going to go down to the bar and have a beer, and then I'm going to go to bed. I'll show you around this hotel. It's pretty nice. All right, guys, I'm a little tipsy right now. Uh, I'm at the, the Hyatt Regency, Regency Hyatt or whatever, you know, staying with a random guy who I don't know. I took one of those things. One of those things right there from the airport to the hotel. The hotel is pretty much in the middle of the airport. The airport's like a circle here in Dallas. So that's part of the airport parking. And the airport parking goes all the way around. It's like a big circle. And the hotel's in the middle. So it's an expensive hotel. It's a, like $170 a night. But once I missed my flight and I jumped on that little bus thing, I met a guy who also missed his flight and had to get a hotel room for the night. Just a random stranger. Me and him decided to split a hotel for the night. And uh, seems risky. A lot of people are gonna be like, you're crazy, you just got a hotel room with a random person. The first thing he said to me was, hey, we could split a room, I'm not gay. <laughs> and I said, well, I'm not gay either. But anyway, I got a room with a stranger. But it's not the first time I've done that. So anybody who's worried about me, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not the person you need to be worried about. I, I got this. And uh, anyway, I wish I could show you something scenic. I wanted to go downtown, but my debit card is so old and it's falling apart. So I couldn't use my debit card to buy a ticket on the tracks. I wanted to give you some footage of downtown Dallas, but that's not going to happen. Instead, I came here to the hotel, which is at the airport, and I had a couple beers and a couple shots of tequila, and now I'm kind of faded and I'm going to go to bed, but this will be the little, um, the, the travel video, the video of the trip there. So tomorrow, I'll get some footage from the Tampa airport and from Tampa, and We'll be home in Florida. I'll get you some B-roll of, of all the cool stuff in Florida. And um, can't show you downtown Dallas, but I've been there before. It's cool, but it's just another downtown city. So sorry about that, guys. But I will get you some cool stuff once we're in Florida. Right now, I just want to go to bed, and I, I just want to get there. I just want to see my family, and I want to I want to be in Florida. I haven't haven't been down there in so long and I just want to have that Florida man feeling again you know it's in my blood and I miss it so I'm gonna go back in the hotel go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning tipsy Hooters We got a balcony in there, Bill. Fort Worth. And I think that way over there is Dallas. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the only skyscrapers I see. But this is all the airport wrapped around the hotel so we didn't get to see Dallas but I've been there before you're not missing much Tampa's better 
Good morning, Texas. Hyatt Regency in Texas. $170 a night, and they don't even give you free continental breakfast. It's a $17 breakfast bar. Or you can buy individual items over here. $170 for a room for a night. This should give you continental breakfast. Alright. We're heading to the airport now. About to get on the plane. Made it to Tampa. Welcome home. Back in Tampa. This is a lot nicer airport than the Dallas one. The Gasparilla pirate ship. And buddy, we're back. Perfect. This is baggage claim. Well, my bag's not gonna be a baggage claim because I missed my flight last night. So I have to figure out how to find my bag. We're gonna see. Hopefully they didn't lose it. That's why I brought all my valuable stuff in my backpack on my carry-ons. I'll lose a lot of clothes if I don't get that bag. So since I missed my flight last night, I get to avoid that baggage claim and my bag is waiting for me in the American Airlines luggage place cool now I gotta wait here for my uncle Steve he's not getting in for like two hours and then we're gonna go go to Pasco see the fam see my brothers for the first time in like 10 years well I got my bag no problems I'm here at the pickup. Gotta hang out at the airport for a little while. Wait for Uncle to get in so I'll find something to do for a couple hours. I can take this stupid mask off. Hallelujah. I can breathe. <laughs> but uh yeah, so we made it in. I was a little worried, but we got here. So uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of cool videos from Florida coming up for you guys. So don't miss them. Hopefully we can get some fishing in. Hopefully we can check out the beach. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to be here. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all the fun stuff. And don't miss all the other Florida videos I got coming up for you. Peace. Look, it's palm trees. I haven't seen palm trees in a minute. And it's hot. Definitely in Florida now.